Welcome to Healthy Vision Talk Radio, the podcast for people in search of a physician with alternative solutions for their eye problems. From the best-selling, award-winning, world's only homeopathic ophthalmologist, here's your host, Dr. Edward Kondrat. Welcome to the Top Alternative Doctors of America. This is your host, Dr. Edward Kondrat, and I'm here to help you learn alternative treatments to keep you healthy. Those of you that may have tuned in expecting to hear healthy vision, well, you're not going to be disappointed. Since I became the president of the Arizona Homeopathic and Integrative Medical Association, my focus now is to promote homeopathic and alternative medicine throughout the United States. More patients need to know that there are options in healthcare, and it is so important that you learn these options. Now, initially on this show, uh, my good friend, Dr. Robert Rowan, was supposed to join me, uh, but for some reason, he has not been able to join the show, but I have a, an exceptional alternative doctor, homeopathic doctor, who I respect greatly, is going to be my guest, and that is Dr. Carl Robinson. Uh, Dr. Robinson, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Uh, thanks so much for joining me, especially uh, at the last moment. Um, I have a lot of respect for you. Uh, in fact, I consider you one of my homeopathic teachers. And I wanted to begin by, if you could share with us a little bit about your medical uh, career and how you became interested in homeopathy. Sure. I, uh, I'm a graduate of Hahnemann, the same medical school you, you went to also. And uh, then I did a a residency in New York City uh, in Harlem Hospital where I became rather disillusioned with uh, conventional medicine and started looking around. And in the course of that next year or so, I started learning about homeopathy and then I took my first course. And uh, after that, started studying all over the world, um, learning from top-rate uh, homeopaths and virtually every country that where homeopathy is practiced in England and Europe, United States, Canada, India, Buenos Aires, on and on, and continue to this day studying because uh, homeopathy is not so easy to master. Well, that's one thing I really admire about you. You know, homeopathy is a very difficult discipline, and it seems like you're never satisfied. Uh, you're always uh, pursuing uh, a different teacher, um, a different approach. And I think as a result of all this, uh, you've kind of sharpened, sharpened your skills and have improved your uh, technique in case-taking and analysis uh, over the years. Uh, but before we talk about that, I think one of the biggest problems is uh, to actually explaining to people uh, what homeopathy is. I think there's so many misconception. So I'm going to ask you if you could uh, explain to us what is exactly homeopathy. And I'm sorry to put you on the spot because uh, it can be very difficult to do this. Yeah. Um, homeopathy is the brainchild of Dr. Samuel Hahnemann, a German uh, who lived over 200 years ago. And it's based on a principle that he discovered, which is that anything a substance can cause in the way of symptoms, that same substance in a small dose can take those symptoms away. And the only thing we have today outside of homeopathy, which is similar to that, is uh, allergy uh, treatments where people will get injections of the allergen that they they're allergic to uh, trying to desensitize them, and that's quite quite a crude form of what homeopathy does. Because when we treat people, we use a single medicine, and that medicine invariably affects the mind, the intellect, and the emotions, and then it almost always affects all organs and systems of the body. So in one medicine, we find that 
symptoms are produced in healthy people affecting the mind, the emotions, and the body. And then when we encounter a sick person and listen to them and examine them, but especially listen to them, uh, we are listening for symptoms which correspond to one of the medicines which we've already investigated. And when we find a match between the patient's symptoms and one of the homeopathic medicines which has already been investigated, and that match is quite close, then we give that medicine and the results are often striking and the patient will get well. And the interesting thing is they'll get well not only from their complaint, whatever that may be, but various other things will get well at the same time. So if a person has, let's say, a sinus, recurrent sinus problem, and then we learn that they also have or have had stomach ulcers, well, there's only one homeopathic medicine which covers both sinus infections and stomach ulcers, and that's chelate bichromium or potassium bichromate. So in this way, we're able to join together very unlikely organs and systems which are sick in one homeopathic medicine. And that homeopathic medicine, when, as I said, is carefully prescribed, we see not just one problem get better, but several. And that includes uh, a general improvement in the energy, a general improvement in the mind and the disposition, as well as an improvement in the physical problems. And many times we'll find uh, more than one physical problem get better, which is really quite astounding. Does that give you an idea? Well, I, it's very interesting because it's it's so different than a traditional Western medicine. Because if you had a sinus problem, you'd go to the ear, nose, and throat doctor, he would treat that. And if you'd have a stomach ulcers, you would go to a gastroenterologist, and they would treat uh, that separate part of the body. So uh, what you're saying in homeopathy, uh, you're treating the whole person. Uh, exactly. So one thing that, uh, if you could explain, is how, how can that be? Um, why is it, uh, how does homeopathy work when you're treating different parts of the body? It's contrary to uh, traditional Western uh, medicine. Well, okay, the, the unifying concept, which is, came straight from Samuel Hahnemann, was that when people fall ill, there is this subtle energy which surrounds and penetrates the body which gets we might say discombobulated or out of order and Hahnemann called this the vital force and some people might prefer to call it chi or some other but Hahnemann called it the vital force so we'll stay with that so the idea is that the vital force is out of order it's not flowing in a uniform and healthy way now, these homeopathic medicines are very subtle in themselves. They've been highly diluted. And when the correct homeopathic medicine is found, we believe that it does a kind of unblocking of this deranged energy field, the vital force. Now, when the vital force gets <clears throat> into a better state, into a normal state, then the, the vital force, because it, and it exerts a tremendous influence on the physical, the chemical, the physiological body, uh, it will begin to allow the body to cure itself. So in a way, homeopathy promotes self-healing. Well, we're coming up to a break on the Top Alternative Doctors of America, and this is your host, Dr. Edward Condrad, and with me, is Dr. Carl Robinson, and those of you that have joined me 
on the top alternative doctors know that. Homeopathy is also my passion. Homeopathy is what really brought me to alternative treatments. And it is such a pleasure to have Dr. Robinson with me on the top alternative doctors of America. And we are coming up to a break, and we're going to be right back after this break to talk more about homeopathy. Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Ever want to meet a hero in homeopathy? Have you ever wanted to rub elbows with a star? A doctor trained in both conventional and integrative therapies. A doctor who understands and specializes in homeopathic treatment. If so, please join the Arizona Homeopathic and Integrative Medical Association, AHIMA, on Tuesday, September 3rd for a dinner and roast honoring Dr. Bruce Shelton. A Valley legend, Dr. Bruce Shelton has been in private practice for over 30 years. He has spent many years in leadership at the Arizona Homeopathic and Integrative Medical Association. Dr. B, as we like to call him, has lectured all over the world as a doctor's doctor, a member of the AZ Board of Homeopathic and Integrative Medical Examiners, Chief Medical Advisor for DesBio, and as a diplomat of the British Institute of Homeopathy. Join AHIMA on Tuesday, September 3rd for a dinner and roast as we honor Dr. Bruce Shelton. Tickets are $95 per person. RSVP today at 602-263-3589. To learn more, visit facebook.com forward slash Ahima Events. Come celebrate the world premiere of the Martin Sheen's In Focus production of the Kondrat program on August 23rd. It's a real honor for Dr. Kondrat to be selected for this exclusive production focusing on leading alternative doctors. This production will be broadcast to over 84 million homes on public television. Join us for the world premiere on August 23rd at 7 p.m. for a fun celebration. Call 1-800-430-9328 for more information. Join us for this celebration. Call 800-430-9328. Looking to restore your health and vision? Spend a week at the Florida Wellness Center. This nationally recognized facility, as featured on ABC, Fox News, and Public TV, is now offering special programs to restore your health and vision. Enjoy healthy organic meals, relax by the pool, enjoy our miles of hiking trails, or try your skill fishing on our 300-acre world-class bass lake. Call now to find out about our special programs. 800-430-9328. 800-430-9328 for more information. Call Dr. Condrit for a personal consultation. Dr. Condrit is a leading alternative eye doctor, author of three best-selling books, and host of Healthy Vision Talk Radio. Call for your personal consultation with Dr. Condrit to learn what alternative therapies can help you. Take this important step today to improve your vision. Call 1-800-430-9328. That number again, 1-800-430-9328. Attention homeowners, the Obama administration is pressuring lenders to do more to prevent foreclosure with its home affordability and stability plan. If you own a home and you're having trouble making your payments or facing foreclosure, we can help. Call the National Mortgage Helpline at 800-391-6649. We now have the ability to stop foreclosure proceedings, forgive late payments and penalties, take your adjustable rate mortgage to a fixed rate, and reduce your mortgage payment to as low as 2%. We were three months behind on our payments. And the National Mortgage Helpline was able to get our mortgage company to take the payments we were behind, put them on the back of our loan, and lower our interest rate. Now we have a payment we can afford. Simply call 800-391-6649. Again, that's 800-391-6649. If you're having trouble paying your mortgage, call the National Mortgage Helpline today at 800-391-6649. You don't need equity or good credit. You just need to call 800-391-6649. The March-April issue of Arizona Sports and Lifestyle magazine is on newsstands and online. You'll find a colorful feature on The Dude, award-winning actor Jeff Bridges, who's rocking out the Mesa Art Center with his band, The Abiders, as well as stories on comedian Christopher Titus, celebrity chef Adam Richman, and the amazing 2013 Hyundai Genesis. AZ Sal covers it all from sports and travel to music and dining. Online at azsal.com and in print. Arizona Sports and Lifestyle magazine, covering the game of life. Log on and listen live. 1100kfnx.com. 
Welcome back to the Alternative Doctors of America. This is Dr. Kondra, and with me is Dr. Carl Robinson, and we're discussing homeopathy. And Dr. Robinson, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about, uh, on break we mentioned Belladonna, and use that as an example to illustrate some of the points that you covered earlier about different organ systems, provings, et cetera. Sure. Um, Belladonna is... Um is used in conventional medicine. It's um, antispasmodic, and that's about it. So it calms down spasms in the gut usually. But homeopathically, it has a wide range of actions. And in the homeopathic investigations, which we call provings, uh, it was found that belladonna acts on the circulatory system in a very specific way, and that is that it seems to force the blood upward into the head and neck and away from the extremities. So in the provings of Belladonna, you find that the hands and feet are noticeably cooler than the face and head. At the same time, belladonna causes the pupils of the eye to enlarge or dilate. And because of the increased circulation upward, you'll see that the large arteries, which are called the carotid arteries in the neck, are visibly pulsating. And if you hold your hand, say, 8 to 10 inches above the person's face, you'll feel the heat radiating upward. Now, this is a common situation in many fevers that children get and adults, but mostly children. And they'll they'll get a, a fever which will rise rather quickly up to 100, 300, 400, even 105 or higher. And with that, you'll find that the face will go red and very hot, and if you run your hands down to the hands and feet, you'll you'll find that uh, they're noticeably cooler. Now, the interesting thing is when you find this particular conjunction of symptoms, Belladonna will be useful in a several different clinical presentations. For example, it will be useful in a simple fever, It'll be useful in a pharyngitis or a sore throat. It'll be useful in uh, tonsillitis. It'll be useful in otitis media, which is ear infections. And it's even useful in meningitis, although I don't suggest you uh, just treat with homeopathy. You should also get the kid to the hospital, but when this peculiar group of symptoms is present, uh, all, all these different so-called clinical presentations usually resolve within minutes to an hour or two. So it's quite extraordinary that for the conventional doctor, if you have the otitis, the ear infection, you're going to be given an antibiotic and an analgesic whereas Belladonna will take care of both. And not only that, it'll bring the fever down often within 10 to 30 minutes. And the same goes for these other problems. So in one medicine, you have one medicine treating three, four, five different clinical presentations. That's pretty amazing. And there's nothing that conventional medicine can point to that can do the same thing. Now, there's many other medicines that have um, similar actions. Should I go on and tell you about another one? Uh, Well, before we move on to another uh, homeopathic remedy, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about a homeopathic remedy also uh, can treat different organ systems. So you talked about belladonna treating the ear problem. Uh, But... When that same presentation occurs in a different part of the body, belladonna might be useful, such as a sore throat, an abscess. So um, I wonder if you could 
Okay. They declare so, that how, how this can happen. All right. Let's say um, a nursing mother develops a mastitis or an infection of the breast, and if it's a belladonna case, he would say that the that part of the breast feels hot and is hot and would be very sensitive to touch, very painful, and it would be throbbing or pulsating. Remember I said how pulsatilla causes the carotid artery to pulsate. Well, it can cause pulsation anywhere, anywhere there's an abscess or, in this case, a mastitis there will be a throbbing or pulsating sensation. It'll be quite sensitive to pain or touch movement, and there'll be redness and tenderness. And so really anywhere in the body that you get these signs, belladonna could prove curative. And let's uh, move on maybe to talk about another remedy that has... um for illustration purposes, another remedy that maybe has a different uh, presentation than belladonna to illustrate um, the powers of homeopathy and how homeopathy can affect many different organ systems or different parts of the body. Sure. Well, uh, let's talk about Rus, R-H-U-S, toxicodendron, spelled T-O-X-I-C-O-D-E-N-D-R-O-N which is poison ivy. Now, when it's prepared homeopathically, which is by dilution, many, many dilutions and shaking it each time, it becomes a very important medicine for uh, ligaments and joints and muscles. So the symptomatology of bruise tox is quite interesting because people with these muscle and joint problems will will tell you invariably that when they wake up in the morning or when they've been seated for a long time and they first move, they feel a lot of stiffness and pain. That's one of the cardinal symptoms of Roos Tox, that they're worse at rest, worse or at worst being at rest for a while. So when they say, it's very hard for me to take a trip of 100 or 200 miles, I have to stop every 50 or 60 miles, get out and stretch. That's because whatever the problem is, it feels worse when they're not moving. And ironically, the first movements hurt, but after they kind of warm up, a lot of people with arthritis will say, it's really bad at the first few steps, but after I've walked for a while or after I've taken a hot shower, I start to feel better. Roost tox is also better from heat. Roost tox is also sensitive to the approach of a storm. So a lot of people will say, you know, I can sense when a storm, a thunderstorm, or a change of weather is coming, uh, even when it's two, 300 miles away, I begin to feel it. I begin to ache. So that's another sign of it. Now, Roos Tox is better for movement, not the first movement, but continued movement. But it's more complicated than that. If they keep moving, uh, they work hard all day, break. at the end of the day, they'll start to feel pain again. So it's worse from we're the first movement, better from continued break. movement uh, to a point, and, uh, and then yeah, they feel worse thought, again. Hold your thought on that. We're coming up to a break. Uh, you're listening to Top Alternative Doctors of America. This is your host, Dr. Kondrat. We'll be right back with Dr. Robinson, and we're going to continue talking about homeopathy. And also, I'd like to put a plug in for Dr. Robinson. He's going to be publishing a book on homeopathy, and I personally am looking forward to uh, uh, reading this book. He's put a lot of effort and work into the science of homeopathy. We'll be right back after this break. NBC 
News Radio. I'm Melissa Rayberger. Syria has agreed to allow a U.N. investigation of last week's alleged chemical weapons attack outside Damascus. NBC's Richard Engel says the U.N. team's investigation could start tomorrow, but is very limited. These U.N. teams aren't tasked with trying to figure out who may have used chemical weapons, only if chemical weapons were in fact used. And there is a big distinction. At the White House, protesters are marching outside, demanding that the administration take action against Syria. Meanwhile, inside, NBC's Kristen Welker says there is a lot of skepticism. The administration saying evidence may have been destroyed. One official called the move too late to be credible. The British Foreign Secretary also has doubt. Family and friends of Christopher Lane, who was killed last week in Duncan, Oklahoma, remember the slain Australian baseball player today. A memorial service was held at a Melbourne ballpark. Lane was in the U.S. on a baseball scholarship when he was gunned down while jogging. This is NBC News Radio. Hi, everybody. Jim Howell from the KFNX Weather Center. Continuing scattered showers and thunderstorms around the state just about anywhere, anytime, with some heavy up to a half inch of rain. A lot of tropical moisture has moved in. Daytime highs, low to mid-90s. Jim Howell, Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Currently in downtown Phoenix, it's 88 degrees. Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Attention Americans, nothing is more precious than our children. U.S. Department of Justice reports a child goes missing every 40 seconds, 800,000 times a year. Determining the exact whereabouts of missing children in the first moments is critical to successful recovery. Protect your children and grandchildren by registering them with the Amber Child Safety System. If you register now, we'll provide you and your child a geo-tracking system that gives you peace of mind. It even tracks your child in the event of wrongdoing. It alerts you when your child is not where they're supposed to be. In addition, we monitor your child's social networking profiles for dangers like bullying or any other out-of-network predators that might be trying to contact your children. The Amber Child Safety System is the only program endorsed by Amber's mother, Donna Williams. Her daughter is the namesake of the Amber Alert. Do not delay. Register your children now for as low as $9.99. Call 1-855-7-AMBER-7. 1-855-7-AMBER-7. That's 1-855-7-AMBER-7. Or go to Radio1.Ambersignup.com. That's Radio1.Ambersignup.com. Call Dr. Condrit for a personal consultation. Dr. Condrit is a leading alternative eye doctor, author of three best-selling books, and host of Healthy Vision Talk Radio. Call for your personal consultation with Dr. Condrit to learn what alternative therapies can help you. Take this important step today to improve your vision. Call 1-800-430-9328. That number again, 1-800-430-9328. Lock it in. Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Uh, welcome back to the Softball Tournament of the Doctors of America. This is Dr. Condrod, and with me is Dr. Carl Robinson. And we're talking about homeopathy. And Dr. Robinson, you and I both agree that homeopathy is probably one of the most powerful ways uh, to treat disease, both acute and chronic, uh, but it is also probably one of the most difficult modalities to learn, and it's also very difficult to, to find a competent homeopathic doctor. So I have a couple of questions for you. Is One, how does someone find a competent homeopathic doctor, someone that's well-trained, And also, uh, what are the sources of homeopathic education in the United States? Sure. Um, To to learn about homeopathy, one of the first steps is to go online to the to the National Center for Homeopathy. They have a website, and they're located in uh, Virginia, and they have a large membership of of people who are interested in homeopathy and including doctors and practitioners of homeopathy. The other place to find a good doctor is through the American Institute of Homeopathy. That's the American Institute of Homeopathy. They also have a website. And that's a doctor's only organization. So that's two, two venues to find a homeopath and to learn more about it. If you join the National Center for Homeopathy, they have a magazine, which is quite interesting, that comes out every couple of months, and they have an annual conference. There are also schools throughout the United States that meet training people in homeopathy. Uh, Several naturopathic colleges include homeopathic uh, 
uh, education, and then there's some homeopathic schools, which meet usually once a month for three or four days for one or two or three years, and that's another way to learn. And all these can be found online. And there's many books. Uh, Dana Allman uh, has a bookstore, and there's many bookstores you can find online to buy books about homeopathy, first aid, and then others. Now, of course, I know that you're you're very modest, uh, but you've been working on a book, um, an intro. It's an introductory book to homeopathy, and you try to explain in detail the art and science of homeopathy. So I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about uh, the book you're uh, putting together. Yes. Um, I'm interested in trying to really educate uh, the average person who's dissatisfied with conventional medicine about the possibilities of homeopathic medicine because we haven't mentioned it on this show tonight, but uh, homeopathy in the hands of a skillful pr practitioner can actually make a huge difference in some very difficult diseases, many chronic diseases, including autoimmune diseases, uh, many, many difficult uh, illnesses which are not readily classified by conventional medicine can be helped and sometimes cured completely by homeopathy. And to do this, you need somebody who really knows what they're doing. Uh, for example, when I take an initial history, I spend up to an hour and a half with an adult or an hour with a child. And uh, this history involves not only the complaint or the complaints, because it's often more than one, but we include things like how the person reacts to all kinds of environmental stimuli. Let me give you some examples. Is the person hot or cold, meaning do they tolerate heat? Do they tolerate cold or not? Are they thirsty or thirstless? If they're thirsty, do they want cold drinks or room temperature or hot drinks? Are they affected by weather? Are there any foods that affect them, that they love, that they dislike, that make them ill, on and on? Um, we want to know about how people perspire, if there's anything unusual about it. We want to know uh, about food that they might like. And we go on in great detail. Then we get into the emotional side because often, very often, uh, people fall ill after either one single great stress or a series of stresses. Some people uh, develop, say, migraines, and you ask them when they began, and they say, well, it began, and they say six, seven, eight years ago, whenever. And you say, well, what happened then? And the person says, well... My son was killed in Iraq. He was a soldier. And they begin to cry. So you know immediately that these migraines will never be cured unless you deal with the grief. So this becomes a very, very important factor in treating the person with, say, migraines. It could be something else. If you don't treat the underlying cause, in this case, prolonged grief, then you're never going to uh, cure the, the physical thing. So homeopathy is really wonderful medicine in the sense that it includes these various aspects or sides that the person is uh, suffering from. Now, um, another question I have for you is uh, what, um, you know, we, we tend to live in a very impatient society. We're used to quick fixes. And I, want, I know one thing that people have to understand with homeopathy, often it's a slow process towards regaining your health. And I just wonder if you could express some of your opinions on this. Um, well, if it's, an acute, if it's an acute problem, we have to get them well pretty, pretty quickly. So, for example, the other day, I treated a woman who had severe vertigo and gave her one medicine. It didn't work. So the next day, 12 hours later, I re-prescribed, and that one did work, and her vertigo started to calm down significantly. So we can't just 
wait and wait. You've got to get a result. You've got to get it pretty quick. So that's an acute problem. But if it's a chronic problem, then probably it's not going to go away very quickly. Probably it's going to take some weeks or months, and that's with the correct medicine. So people have to understand that. Uh, often people come in to see a homeopath and they're on one, three, five, seven different homeo- uh, regular drugs or medicines. And so we have to take a case history allowing for the fact they're on all these drugs. And then we prescribe and hopefully they start to feel better than they were on their drugs. And then we begin to slowly take them off their drugs. We don't want to just take them off immediately because we don't want to put them in any danger. So people have to realize that it's if you're suffering from a chronic problem, you're not going to get better overnight. Does that, that uh, give you an idea? Uh, yeah, and also another question I have is, you know, you go to a health food store and you can't help but see a lot of uh, homeopathic products that are available. And uh, the question I have is, you know, can these homeopathic products be helpful uh, for common problems if you really don't have any training and do you feel that they're safer to use than uh, traditional, you know, medication? Let's say, for example, you know, you have a cold or flu and you really don't want to take antibiotics, you don't want to take uh, aspirin or Tylenol, and you want to explore homeopathy. I wonder if you could just comment on how someone who maybe is hearing about homeopathy for the first time can really get involved and begin to appreciate uh, the value of homeopathy. Well, that's that's an interesting question because... Fortunately or unfortunately, these homeopathic medicines are, have become widely available in health food stores and uh, whole foods markets, stocks them in many other whole foods places. So they're available, and people think, well, the problem is it's, it's a kind of trivialization of homeopathy. People think, oh, I can pick it up for three or four or five bucks, and uh, it's like picking up some nutritional supplement. And I can treat myself. Well, you've got to be very skilled, frankly, or very lucky when you buy your homeopathic medicine if it works. Mostly it's a matter of luck because it's not so simple. And fortunately or unfortunately, the FDA requires the homeopathic manufacturers to label each homeopathic medicine with one or two words. Now, this is really kind of bizarre because... A homeopathic medicine like sodium chloride, which we call natrium reaticum, has over 2,000 symptoms, and it's proving. So to reduce that to one or two words is really kind of ludicrous. So it's it's tricky. Sometimes people can go in and buy oxalococcinum, which is a product by Boiron, a French company, for the flu, and it will work. Or you can use arnica for bruises, and it will work. But when it comes to more complicated things, then it's kind of a raffle. Well, we're coming up to another break on the Top Alternative Doctors of America. It's a real pleasure to have Dr. Robinson with me. And we come back, we're going to be talking more about homeopathy, how to get started in homeopathy, how to um, maybe find a qualified homeopathic doctor. So it's really exciting that we have Dr. Robinson here on the show. Also, Dr. Robinson mentioned his uh, new book that he's putting together, And those of you that are interested in um, his book, uh, you can uh, call our office at 800-430-9328 to get more information. And later on in the show, we come back, I'll have Dr. Robinson give you all his contact information, his website, and his phone number. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back after this break. Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. 
Ever want to meet a hero in homeopathy? Have you ever wanted to rub elbows with a star? A doctor trained in both conventional and integrative therapies. A doctor who understands and specializes in homeopathic treatment. If so, please join the Arizona Homeopathic and Integrative Medical Association, AHIMA, on Tuesday, September 3rd for a dinner and roast honoring Dr. Bruce Shelton. A valley legend, Dr. Bruce Shelton has been in private practice for over 30 years. He has spent many years in leadership at the Arizona Homeopathic and Integrative Medical Association. Dr. B, as we like to call him, has lectured all over the world as a doctor's doctor, a member of the AZ Board of Homeopathic and Integrative Medical Examiners, Chief Medical Advisor for DesBio, and as a diplomat of the British Institute of Homeopathy. Join AHIMA on Tuesday, September 3rd for a dinner and roast as we honor Dr. Bruce Shelton. Tickets are $95 per person. RSVP today at 602-263-3589. To learn more, visit facebook.com forward slash AHIMA events. Come celebrate the world premiere of the Martin Sheen's In Focus production of the Kondrat program on August 23rd. It's a real honor for Dr. Kondrat to be selected for this exclusive production focusing on leading alternative doctors. This production will be broadcast to over 84 million homes on public television. Join us for the world premiere on August 23rd at 7 p.m. for a fun celebration. Call 1-800-430-9328 for more information. Join us for this celebration. Call 800-430-9328. Looking to restore your health and vision? Spend a week at the Florida Wellness Center. This nationally recognized facility, as featured on ABC, Fox News, and Public TV, is now offering special programs to restore your health and vision. Enjoy healthy organic meals, relax by the pool, enjoy our miles of hiking trails, or try your skill fishing on our 300-acre world-class bass lake. Call now to find out about our special programs. 800-430-9328. 800-430-9328 for more information. Call Dr. Condrit for a personal consultation. Dr. Condrit is a leading alternative eye doctor, author of three best-selling books, and host of Healthy Vision Talk Radio. Call for your personal consultation with Dr. Condrit to learn what alternative therapies can help you. Take this important step today to improve your vision. Call 1-800-430-9328. That number again, 1-800-430-9328. Attention homeowners, the Obama administration is pressuring lenders to do more to prevent foreclosure with its home affordability and stability plan. If you own a home and you're having trouble making your payments or facing foreclosure, we can help. Call the National Mortgage Helpline at 800-391-6649. We now have the ability to stop foreclosure proceedings, forgive late payments and penalties, take your adjustable rate mortgage to a fixed rate, and reduce your mortgage payment to as low as 2%. We were three months behind on our payments. And the National Mortgage Helpline was able to get our mortgage company to take the payments we were behind, put them on the back of our loan, and lower our interest rate. Now we have a payment we can afford. Simply call 800-391-6649. Again, that's 800-391-6649. If you're having trouble paying your mortgage, call the National Mortgage Helpline today at 800-391-6649. You don't need equity or good credit. You just need to call 800-391-6649. Hey, there's a new sports show on 1100 KFNX. Yes, I said sports. Sports X Radio, live from Lagasse Stadium at the Venetian Palazzo on the Las Vegas Strip. Weeknight, 7 to 9, starting August 1st. Sports X Radio. Now through September 8th, take the time to enjoy Carnivale. Carnivale is an amazing new adventure every day. Carnivale, now at the Venetian Palazzo, Las Vegas. Sports X Radio with Ken Thompson, weeknight, 7 to 9, on Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Visit us online at 1100kfnx.com. Uh, welcome back to the Top Alternative Doctors of America. And uh, we're coming up to the last segment. Dr. Robinson, so I'm going to throw a pretty tough question at you. Um, uh, what, what do you feel is the future of uh, medicine and homeopathy, and what do people need to do uh, to truly get healthy based on the homeopathic perspective? Well, uh, I think that the first thing a person has to do is to get disenchanted with with modern medicine. That's what happened to me when I was a resident in Harlem Hospital. You see, conventional or modern medicine can only, almost only, palliate or make the person feel better or control the symptomatology. Let me give you an example. Uh, many people have multi, 
organ multi-system illnesses. So a person comes in, they have migraines, they have hypertension, they may have uh, their sugar may be too high, they're headed toward diabetes, they have arthritic symptoms, uh, they have a skin problem, uh, they have constipation, and they have anxiety. So they have all these problems. And when you go to um, our much-wanted medical system, they get placed on a medicine for the hypertension, a pain medicine for the for the migraines, uh, a salve with steroids for the skin problem, an anti-inflammatory for the joints, and so on and so forth, something else for the constipation. Now, this is all very divisive, very segmented, very um, nothing to do with treating the person who's ill. So with homeopathy and the broad, in-depth interview, trying to find those, this one medicine that covers all that, it's possible and even likely that all these different problems are going to get better with one single medicine. So the first thing is to become realistic about what modern medicine cannot do and then to realize that homeopathy offers a really wonderful alternative to this. Well, you know, I can speak personally uh, about myself. I developed severe adult onset asthma, and uh, traditional Western medicine was able to palliate or reduce my symptoms, but they did nothing in terms of curing the asthma. And, of course, there's a lot of side effects. And it wasn't until I was introduced to homeopathy that uh, my asthma was uh, truly cured. And that was 15 years ago, and I no longer need any type of asthma medication. So that convinced me that the homeopathic approach is uh, the best approach. But it's uh, not simple, and it's not easy. And often, and I'm sure you have this situation where people will ask you, uh, what's the best homeopathic remedy for asthma, or what's the best homeopathic remedy for a headache? Uh, but we really don't treat uh, that one particular aspect, we treat the whole person. So it takes a little bit more work, takes a little bit more effort. But the end result is uh, you're going to be much healthier overall and less, less dependent on um, uh, medications uh, to just kind of maintain uh, your system. Um, now, Dr. Robinson, I know one thing that you're really interested in is uh, improving uh, the quality of homeopathic education and also kind of sharing uh, the wonders of homeopathy with the traditional medical system. Uh, do you think that traditional medicine will ever embrace homeopathy? Uh, that's um, up to this point, it's a bit of a pipe dream, we hope, we hope, but... Uh... As I said a minute ago, they have this very specialized outlook. The disease affects various parts of the body. We have all these specialists, and they don't seem to grasp that it's impossible really for one part of the body to fall ill unless it's trauma. So when people fall ill, the mind, the emotions, the body, they all fall ill at once. And currently, um, regular medicine doesn't want to really acknowledge that deeply because, as I said, uh, I've seen, I've treated successfully a, a child with both seizures and asthma, and both got better. Now, neither can be cured with regular medicine, and yet both went away with one single homeopathic medicine. So one has to understand what's possible with homeopathy and what's not possible with conventional medicine. Now, I wonder if you could uh, share with us uh, a little bit about your current practice, uh, where you practice, and also you're involved with homeopathic education in uh, Central America. Uh, yeah. If you could share with us. Yeah, I'm uh, primarily stationed in Houston, Texas, and I, I travel frequently to El Salvador, where I teach, and to Guatemala, where I teach. And I've been doing so now. I'm in my 11th year in those countries. Prior to that, um, 
I taught in Honduras and before that a bit in Cuba. So we're slowly trying to uh, spread homeopathy. I founded the Texas Society of Homeopathy. We meet once a year, and uh, I'm active in the United States also and currently writing a book, as you mentioned. And if uh, people are interested in uh, getting in touch with you, I wonder if you could uh, share with us uh, your office phone number and your website. Sure. Uh, the office is 713-621-3184. And uh, the website is homeopathyyes.com. That's homeopathy, H-O-M-E-O-P-A-T-H-Y-Y-E-S.com. Uh, there's, on that website, you'll find many, many interesting cases which were successfully treated with homeopathy and some a lot of questions answered. So uh, either call me or go straight to the National Center for Homeopathy or the American Institute of Homeopathy to find a doctor in your area who may be able to help you. And then, of course, if people are interested in your book, uh, it'll probably be available on Amazon.com. But they could also contact uh, your website uh, and uh, your office for more information. Uh, right. So we're coming up to a few few minutes left in the show, and I just wondered if you could give the listeners uh, some advice on um, uh, a bringing homeopathy into your life. We have two minutes left, so... Uh, closing, closing comments. Well, I've devoted my 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 entire professional life to the study and practice of homeopathy, and it's been entirely satisfactory. Uh, every patient is different. I don't care if you have the same diagnosis; you are in some way different from everyone else with the same diagnosis. So we take that into account. You are a person who's unique, and you need a unique medicine to treat you mentally, emotionally, and physically. We're not treating you in a divisive, particular way. We're trying to treat all aspects of you at one time. In that sense, homeopathy is really the only truly holistic medicine, because we do it with one medicine. Well, Dr. Robinson, I think those are some great closing comments, and I think they summarize uh, the power and wonder of homeopathy. I want to thank you so much for being a guest on the Top Alternative Doctors of America. A pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure. And thank you for listening. This is your host, Dr. Edward Kondrat, and until next week, I hope you have uh, good health, and until next week. We hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. If you'd like to learn more about alternative eye treatments, access free reports, or subscribe to Dr. Kondrat's newsletter, visit us at HealingTheEye.com. If you enjoyed today's show, please write a review. We love hearing from listeners. To hear more episodes about alternative eye treatments, click subscribe and download all of our previous shows. We wish you good health and clear vision.